Hey everyone, Sir Loin at Beef here, and welcome back for part two of uh, today's episode here with uh, on Court Farm uh, with getting all of our harvesting done. So we have moved on to August here, and the gates are open now. They're gonna they're gonna go ahead and let us out. So let's go ahead here and let me check something. This might actually so. Good uh, thing and bad thing here. So we don't have the, I don't know what, that's what I was going to check, uh, straw. So looks like the straw has gone down like $3. That doesn't matter. Um, I guess it's better there, but no big deal. Um, so good thing and bad thing is we're into the next month. Um, obviously no you know so we can get our harvesting finished and everything uh but we don't have the loading wagon anymore because we had to return that because it was just going to be too much of a cut into the profits if we had to keep that for a whole nother day um and on top of that like i said it was going to be um about over an hour um of using it so that would have hit us for that as well um so it just wasn't worth it to um to keep it a whole nother day if we would have been able to finish yesterday we would have had the we would have gotten a charge for you know another hour of use uh but it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been too bad you know to, you know we still would have had a good profit but keeping it a whole nother day plus the other hour you know we're going into over you know almost half the the profit so it was just time to set that uh send that back and we are going to just have to finish up with the uh with the baler so we're gonna get back to the farm here. We're almost there and we can see what the field looks like. Uh, oh, and one thing uh, that's, that is one thing that I never did um, show looks so our alfalfa is still going. I wanted to get that harvested last uh, last season to be honest before we went into the new month, but that's that's okay. Uh, all right, so just check on everything here. Rabbits are still good. What is their price at now? 545. They just keep going up and up. Uh, let's see. So if we were to sell those, $14,000 to sell those. So that's up about another thousand dollars. It's not too bad. And let's check on the other animals here. Actually, we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and park this because we're not gonna be using this today. All right, let's park that there, and let's see what we have over here. Do, 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 do. Here we go. So cows looking good. 17,000 liters of milk. So that's going to be good. We are definitely going to be selling that soon. 41,000 liters of slurry. So we're definitely we're going to want to go ahead and get a slurry spreader here because uh, I do have the field calculator mod installed here. And it looks like um, so even field 54 there, that's the big one that oh that one's actually got our field beans in it so that one's not going to need anything but 56 uh we'll at least be able to get that one the smaller field we'll easily be able to get that one uh covered in slurry because that's only 21,000 liters um and then we can get part of 57 as well so that's that's going to be good there uh, and then as far as the uh canola harvest went we have 51,000 liters of canola so we are good there and now with the prices i think they are going to just be going doing nothing but going up now so if we look at this yes yeah, see we're in august so it was 1400 something last month and this month we're already at 1600 and then next month we should see a huge jump we should be almost probably 18 1900 by then um so that'll be good all right but let's go ahead we got to finish up this um this 
gathering up this straw here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop the trailer off there. I have to pick up this baler here. We got most of it. There isn't too much, but so it's it shouldn't be too much of a headache. But it would have been nice to have been able to finish it with the with the forage wagon. Don't suppose there's a really cheap one we could buy in the store right now, is there? Nope. There's <laughs> an olive harvester. Uh, let's see. All right. All right, so here we go. Oh, looks like the field's pretty weeded up already, but that shouldn't, oh, tree. That shouldn't affect our uh, gathering of the, the straw at all. All right, well, I'm gonna go, let's go ahead and get this started here. All right, let's see here. So then we're gonna have to come back and pick all this up, but all these bales, hopefully it's not too many bales. Actually, let's go ahead and, where is it? There we go, reset the bale counter. Just see how many we get. And of course, with these, we're just going to go ahead and and sell all of these um, because we don't we don't need any more straw bales. But I'm going to go ahead and get a, get this uh, finished up, and then we're going to move on to the main attraction in the in the episode today, and that is getting our alfalfa mowed and and harvested up and all that good stuff. So uh, I will see you then. See you soon. All right, everyone. And we're back here, ready to go uh, with our alfalfa. We got the mower uh, all set up here. We got our baler waiting there. Um, actually, but we're not going to be bailing it right after we mow it. We have to... Uh, Ted it and windrow it and all that which is in the other shed but I just sat the baler there instead of putting it back in the shed but before we uh, get into this um, there is one thing that we're going to do real quick here that I know some of y'all have been asking for um, just got to go ahead and get over to our combine here and as you can see especially since it rained and we had to go through some of the mud this thing is even filthier this thing is absolutely disgusting and i'm not putting it back in the shed this way so hopefully you know what that means if you can see the bright yellow thing up ahead there we went ahead and just built ourselves a, a little kind of wash station uh right here so we're just gonna go ahead and pull this up Got a nice light there in case we're doing any washing at, at night. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and clean this thing off. Make sure we get in there. Get the glass. All right, make sure we get all the, get all the gubbins. Okay, and we'll pull it forward a little bit and we'll go ahead and spray this header off here. Uh, let's see. All 
right and there we go look at that nice and clean like we just bought it yesterday all right now we'll go ahead and whoops put this away here if we can not hit everything on the way <laughs> That we are just hidden everything. Oh, yeah, man, we're gonna get stuck in the shit. Uh, right, uh. Just set that there. Spin this around. All right, there we go. Set that there. Might get a track. We'll get one, one of the tractors in here and move that to get that uh, set up a little bit better. But there we go. Put away all nice and clean. Beautiful. All right. So chickens. Very good. Okay. And let's get this alfalfa started. We've uh, delayed long enough. This should be a good yield from this as well. We should get a pretty good amount. Because this is a pretty decent sized field. Looks pretty good. Wrong button. <laughs> there we go. I can tell by um, the little mini map there. Yeah, it looks like right where that strip of soil is. Um, yeah, it looks like on this end, it looks like it's really good. But I'm going to go ahead and get this all mowed up, and I will bring you all back when we're on the next stage. See you soon. All right, everyone, here we are. We're back in uh, finishing up the last bit of alfalfa here. Get these couple spots I missed will turn in. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to grab the tether and ted this up into alfalfa hay. Um, because we got we got plenty of hay um we got silage and and all that stuff so um the cows have food you know they're they're good not really a whole lot um that we need from this field except to except to sell it so let's go ahead and we're going to uh put this stuff away here fold up come on and grab the tether and ted this up, which shouldn't take too long at all. Let's see here. Let me. I'm gonna go to first person here.
Oh wait, that's right. We gotta we gotta unfold this first because it doesn't like to be put down, folded up. Okay, there we go. And now we'll put this down over here. There we go. Right, and now let's go get our cheddar. Let's pick up our weight real quick. I always drop the weight off right here. What happened? To, oh, well, that's right. We I was like, what happened to our pallet forks over there? I forgot we uh, kind of hit them. All right, here we go. And we're going to go ahead and uh, give this thing a quick spray down because um, who knows what's all over it from uh, the last time we were we were tedding. So we'll just blast that off there so that doesn't contaminate our freshly mowed alfalfa. Not that it does that in the game anyways, but, you know. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And there we go. Alfalfa hay. And we'll have to come through and windrow all this as well. So then we can bail it up. And we don't want to do anything with silage here because um, that would honestly just be a waste. Even though it would be worth more. Um, missed the corner. Even though it would be worth more technically than the just the alfalfa hay. Um it's not worth more in the sense that there's like an alfalfa silage there's just silage is silage so if you're going to do sil silage um just stick with grass there's there's really no point to to do the alfalfa um if you're doing just solely silage because it's it's going to be the same worth the same anyways if you're feeding animals um you know maybe your side the the alfalfa would be great um but even then i mean it's it's worth more than grass so why not just feed him grass you know it's not like it's going to give you a a different result in game you know there's nothing implemented like that at least not that i'm aware of so we're just going to finish this up real quick here and I will bring you back when uh, when we got the wind rower. See you soon. All right, everyone, and we're back here. We got the wind rower now. Same deal. We're going to give this a nice quick spray down. All right. Good to go. Let's get some let's get some rows here. Uh, let's see how we're gonna line this up. It's went a little bit over there from when it first entered the field. Let's see. That's a good as point as any. Well, 
that's a pretty good uh, row there too those should be some these bales that are going to be <laughs> the bales are going to be dropping out of that baler real quick should be able to follow these same lines along the other areas too to get those rowed up so it should make it quite easy for us uh, but you know the deal we're gonna go ahead and get this all rowed up and we'll be back with the baler see you soon all right and we're back and same treatment here let's go ahead and get this baler sprayed off here there we go looking good all right now let's get these uh Let's get these bales made. Let's see how many we get here. I have a feeling this is going to be quite significant. Oh yeah, that's going up quick. <laughs> that's going up real quick. And if we haven't seen these bales before, uh, oh well the hay doesn't have them so much. if that was kind of a mix because that was a mix with the straw take a look, let's take a look at the next bale I know if you just bay the uh, bale the um, just the just the alfalfa grass it will have all the little uh, purple specks in it let's see if this one looks any better no yeah it's gonna be the same same thing alfalfa hay but you can see there's a little bit of the purple in there still. I guess it's uh, kind of goes away once it becomes hay. All right, but yeah, that seems to be. Oh, you know what? We didn't set our. We didn't reset our bale counter. Uh, there we go. So we'll just add. What do we get? Two. We'll just add two to whatever we get here. Which I have a feeling is going to be a pretty decent amount. Right. Kind of makes me miss the... Uh, Heston Baylor because I know with that we could just you know just drive right on through and just have them all just be bailed up but not have to stop for each one but I know uh, unfortunately the Heston Baylor doesn't work with the alfalfa so but and that's not the new Heston Baylor the new Heston Baylor that just came out on the Mod Hub a few days ago I don't know if that one does or not I figured since we already switched from that to this, uh, no sense in hopping back and forth like that. But let me go ahead and uh, get these all. Oh, and you know what? I just realized I <laughs> missed that whole section. I'll have to come back and get that. So let me go ahead and um, get this finished up, and I'll I'll, I'll bring you on back when we got everything uh, everything bailed up and, and loaded up here. See you soon. All right, everyone, and we are back here. Um, finished with that. 
got pretty much all of it. I didn't even bother, if you can see by all the tire marks over there. I didn't go. I didn't bother to go back and get the um, wind rower. I just drove back and forth a, a million times to to get it. So I'm pretty sure we got about 99% of it. But regardless, um, I mean, with what we ended up here, still, I mean, 24 bales because we had 22. Um, but we forgot to reset the bell counter, so remember it's whatever we ended up with plus two, uh, which brings us to 24, which is, oh, tractor's over there this time. Usually I park the baler there. Uh, whoops. Um, I mean, that's pretty good because if you remember when we did, uh, field, what is it over there? 56 with the rye, uh, we only got 19 bales out of that. So I was expecting something similar here with this. I was expecting, you know, maybe 19, 20 bills. So, but so we're pretty close. But 20, so but 24, definitely very, very happy with that. Now, since we are just selling these, because as you see here, we have plenty of hay bales, and there's no sense to use uh, alfalfa hay for the animals, because like I said, it's worth more, so that's more for selling. Um, we are going to go ahead and unload this here and we are just going to auto load this um, and the reason I say that is because if you remember from last episode when we were bailing well not the last episode actually because today was a, a double feature kind of deal but from when we harvested the rye um, apparently this only holds like one row of, of bales on it uh, it only holds like 10. Um, but I found out that if we auto load it, it will hold like the whole thing. It'll put, it'll put the second row on there for some reason. So, um, for sake of time, because I know it would take forever and get the tractor washed off this time too. Now, um, we're just going to go ahead and get this auto loaded. Um, and get it, get it up to the store and, and get it sold here. Well, you know what? I missed the weight. Can't, can't have a clean tractor with the money weight on it. And that must have been really caked on there. There we go. Inside the house. All right, much better. So to enable this, it's going to be, let's see. All right, we'll go. All right, and let's see. I'm not sure how many this trailer will hold. I know it'll hold at least 10. Whoops. And trust me, I'm not a fan of this. I don't want to make this a norm. This does seem kind of silly just driving around. And you can see all the times I went back and forth here. Um, what I'd like to go ahead and do when we have the finances is if we're actually going to be auto-loading like this, I'd like to buy, actually buy um, one of the actual auto loading trailers where it, it you know it actually picks them up and puts them on there and stuff like that um my only concern is i'm not a hundred percent if they are compatible with the uh go wheel bales because they're apparently a special size i guess uh they're because they're, instead of being like 120 they're 125 i don't know <laughs> Let's see here. I think this is only going to hold two more. I don't think this is going to do a third row. If it did a third row, that would be amazing because then we'd only have to do one trip. But I don't think that's going to be the case. But we'll see here. That, whoops. Does it? Nope. That's it. Okay. So then we are going to... Oh, well, there it goes. I already did it. All 
All right, so we've got 81,000 liters here. And where are we going to take these to sell? Because the 283 to 348, I mean, you're looking at like $60 difference. And if we look right now, they're actually already at like 300 almost. So Pine Creek Bales, I think that's our place, isn't it? Right down there at the end. Yep, sure is. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take these down to untag that we know where it is we're gonna go ahead and take these down there and get them sold and we'll let's see what we make on these bales all right here we are at the sale point let's see let's see what we get for these bales here hopefully we got a good good price here Ooh, look at that. That's 26,000 after the environmental score. That is awesome. All right. Well, let's go ahead and we'll get the uh, few, uh, the last remaining few here. We'll get those sold and be all set. All right. And here we are back with the second trip we got six more on the back of there 27,000 liters Let's see what we get here that another almost nine thousand dollars that is amazing so we are definitely looking good in the bank now and we haven't even begun to sell sell the canola or the um the rye and then on top of that we also have our field beans uh that are going to be due here probably in the next month i would say yeah look at that that is so they're going to be due probably next month and those are going to be a huge profit on those so it was a uh, great fun here i hope you all enjoyed the content thank you very much for taking time out of your day uh to watch my video Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and stay safe. Bye-bye.